Normally, you need two primers for amplifying a specific DNA fragment or gene of interest. For designing primers for this, you must know sequence of both the ends complementary to which you would design primers. But sometimes, you wish to characterize sequences for which you have information of only one end. For example, if you want to know the sites surrounding the inserted tDNA or characterization of 5' prime and 3' prime ends of the cDNA. Thus, you can design primers from only one end and PCR amplification of DNA would not be possible without the second primer. Hello and welcome back to Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek and in today's video, you will learn about a useful PCR variant called as anchored PCR using which you can amplify a DNA fragment having sequence information of only one of the ends. Now let's quickly learn how anchored PCR works. In anchored PCR, you design two primers for a particular region of interest. The first primer is complementary to the known region which is also called as sequence specific primer while the second primer is the anchored primer about which I will talk in a moment. Next, you amplify the DNA with this one primer only. After this, you add a few oligos, generally poly G, to the 3' end using terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase enzyme. So now you have created a known DNA sequence near the unknown region by the method called as homopolymer tailing. This would now act as a primer binding site for our second primer which is called as the anchored primer. Anchored primer can have any sequence at its 5' prime end but it must have multiple C's at its 3' prime end to pair with the oligo G region we just created. Now you perform single strand DNA amplification using this anchored primer. In the next round, you can perform normal PCR using both the primers to generate multiple copies of DNA of the interest. You can see the anchored primer is not showing complete complementarity and hence during the first round of amplification, the anchor primer will only bind with its oligo C region, but in the later rounds, as the remaining primer site is amplified, the whole region will be amplified. So that's all about the anchored PCR. If you want to learn more about other PCR variants like real-time PCR, nested PCR, tetrans PCR, gradient PCR, different types of molecular markers, techniques, transcriptome analysis, plant tissue culture, research and publishing, do check out my playlist on them. Comment me so that I can improve and keep uploading the videos for you. Subscribe to stay in touch and keep learning. Thanks and see you in my next video.